young creators are burning out. It is no surprise that you're gonna see headlines from the New York Times, CNN, and more with big, bold headlines saying that creators are burning out, right? We're getting this news from some of our favorite media. We're seeing titles like young creators are burning out and breaking down, or YouTube's top creators are breaking down in mass. I think that this is a really important topic, especially as a creator-centric channel here at Sidewalker Daily. We are speaking to the creator and we need to speak about burnout. It's rampant in our industry. I'm seeing it happen to so many of the creators in my community. So what I wanna do for today's video is I really wanna talk about like what it is, how to know if you have it, um, why it's happening, and then dig into some solutions. Um, some solutions that I think are tried and true because we are getting feedback from creators who have suffered from burnout and are coming back and being like, this is, was, this is what I did. Um, and especially as, you know, again, a channel that is dedicated to the creator, I wanna make sure that we nip this in the butt before you even get burned out. So hopefully you can watch this video before you're on burnout um, to prevent it from actually happening. Now, in terms of a definition for a creator, when a creator is going through burnout, they are really feeling highly unmotivated. The things that they used to love to do, they no longer like to do. Um, we have seen depression being linked to depression, um, being linked to a loss of energy, just overall a feeling of feeling burned out. I mean, that's why the word is called burnout, right? Like feeling like, you have nothing left to give. Um, and it's really obviously strongly linked to mental health. It's something that the need for creators to be constantly posting, constantly doing it. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but it's without a doubt that if you don't take care of yourself and set up some boundaries, you are going to burn out. It's not a matter of if, but when, if you're not protecting yourself um, and creating systems that will protect you from getting there. Now think about how many people identify as creators. You know, whether it's a YouTuber, TikToker, Instagrammer, on Twitch, Twitter, like LinkedIn, creators are on all platforms producing massive amounts of content a day. We know that, you know, creator burnout is something that so many people deal. What will that look like for our society in a whole, right? If we don't take measures to prevent it and to do the work now ahead of time. I think that for the outsider, when you're not in a creator, you know, when you're not a creator, they think being a creator is like so glamorous. It's so fun. Oh my gosh, you just post content for a living. But you guys, and I know that that is not the truth, right? That it is so much more than what meets the video, what meets the eye, what meets the post. It's coming up with the concept up, shooting it, editing it, shooting it again because you messed up, um, you know, all the things of producing the actual content. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? Because the more and more creators are doing this full time and doing this as a business, then they have to deal with the avalanche of being an entrepreneur and a business owner. I always say creators don't realize that they're actually entrepreneurs and business owners. They kind of just think that they're these like creative little beings, but in fact, you are building a business, right? That means taxes. That means all the administrative work that requires setting up a business and running one and hiring people and outsourcing and like literally all the things, right? It comes to no surprise that so many creators are feeling like the sense of overwhelm. But don't worry because today's video is going to give you some good insights on how to prevent it from happening. I do want to state that I am not a believer in quick fixes. I don't think like taking a day off um, is going to relieve you of burnout. Um, a lot of times it requires doing a little bit more self digging and understanding the symptoms of it. Um, instead of, you know, it, I don't think it's just taking some time to realize that you really need to self analyze, like, why are you feeling this way? Um, and then come up with a plan and I'm going to help you and start recognizing the patterns that are leading to your burnout. I think the biggest sign of burnout is when you don't want to do something that you used to love doing, right? That's like the biggest one. Yes, there's depression, lack of motivation. Um, we're seeing all those other symptoms, but I think if you love doing something like if you loved posting on TikTok and now it's like oh, I don't want to post another video like if you're getting to there 
that is not a good sign. I think that's what it looks like um, when you are really feeling that sense of dread of doing the things that once brought you so much happiness. Um, and again, let's talk about why creators are facing burnout, right? The number one reason being this unrealistic expectation to produce on every platform. Um, producing for so many platforms is really, really tiring. Producing for one is tiring enough. Imagine having to produce for all of them. I think there's this also like a fear of the algorithm. Like if you don't post, you're not gonna, you know, the algorithm is gonna punish you, whether it be the YouTube algorithm or the TikTok or Instagram, like there's this fear of algorithm. And there's also this fear of just kind of missing out. Like, will I be forgotten if I don't post? Will people even care? Will I be replaced by another person? I think so many people like they're watching, they're, they're spending their time on TikTok and they're seeing all these other TikTokers. So they're like, if I don't post, you know, they're gonna get the attention or the business or the leads or whatever. So there is a sense of like seeing other people do it and doing it so freely and like this constant comparison game, that's what's driving us to go on this, you know, mode of having to constantly create. There's this huge sense of competition on social. We all do it. We all say, oh, look, they're doing so much more than us. Oh, look, they're on TikTok and we're not. Oh, look, they're on this and we're not. So we have to do it. We have to push ourselves. We have to, you know, participate. And this will lead to burnout if you don't have the systems in place. So let's go ahead and talk about some solutions um, that are going to help you, the creator, prevent this from happening. And if it's already currently happening to you, hopefully um, it will provide you with some questions answered and some relief. So the first step is obviously recognizing it, right? Being like, okay, I am burnt out. This is no longer working for me. Um, and in this moment, you know, depending on the severity of your burnout, you are going to want to hit pause. You need to hit pause because you need to find clarity to think. All the things that you're afraid of, FOMO and the algorithm and all of that, I'm here to tell you it can wait. Your mental health comes first. You are nothing without your sanity. So if you're going to break down and you're not going to even have a platform to post on if you're like not physically well. So the first step is obviously we're going to need to take a break and take pause. The second thing I want you to do during this pause is take a look at your habits. Where are you spending most of your time on? Um, are you on your phone all the time? You know, is there a way for you to track it to see how much time you're spending on your phone? Is this sucking up your energy and your drain and causing you to get into that competitive space? I know for me, like I always put my phone in the drawer during certain hours of the day. There are even apps out there. We just found the forest app that you can put to like kind of help you be more productive and focus and not spend the time again that the phone can end up doing and bringing us in. Take a look at your habits in the sense of what do you do for fun outside of work, outside of content? Are you meditating? Are you spending time with friends and not shooting content? Um, what are you investing your time in in your habits? Because a lot of maybe your burnout is coming from your poor habits, right? Maybe you're just constantly in this space of content, content, content. And what you need to do is kind of outline, okay, this is my content time. And then this is my off time. You know, you may want to look into meditation or a morning routine or something that is completely quiet time and allows you the time you need to fuel your engine. So for me at Sidewalker, one of the things that I started this year was a really good morning routine, a 5 a.m. challenge. I did it with the Sidewalker Daily Inner Circle community. And it's been really, really great because during that time, I am not working. It is not work time. When I'm up at five, it is not work time. It's growth time. It's reading, it's journaling, it's meditating. It's all the things that help me in entrepreneurship um, that fuel my engine so that I can be better at work. If you guys are interested in any of those sort of topics, also let me know in the comments below if you'd like to learn more about routines and systems that I personally use. I'd love to create that type of content if you guys are interested in it. The third thing that I think is going to help you if you are going going through or if you're going if you feel like you're approaching burnout is to create some space between you and your work right so not only is it doing activities but a lot of times because you are your brand. A lot of my creators and influencers, they are forward facing, they are their own brands. What happens is, is you get too emotionally attached and you need to create space between your physical persona and what you post online. You have to remember you are not your work and you need to basically be focusing on the things that bring you joy, that bring you excitement, that light your soul on fire and find a way to delegate the rest. Especially if you're growing as a creator, this is like a really important transition. You're going to need to invest in help. Um, and I don't mean like mental health help, 
that could be something as well. But I mean help like get someone to help you with the things that you don't want to do and spend most of your time in the areas that you are really good at. Now I'm not going to go like, you know, sugarcoat it as a business owner, creator, entrepreneur, you will need to do things that you don't like to do, right? That's just in all businesses. The question is, is how long are you doing those for? And are you able to get someone to support you in those tasks so that you can do what you're really good at. Because if you're focusing on what you're really good at, that's going to bring you in the most money and help your bottom line. This comes to my next tip for burning out to helping prevent burnout is delegating task. Again, as a creator, you want to do it all. You want to do every single piece of your business, but you need to let go. This is how you scale. This is how you grow. You need to let go, get people to help you delegate tasks, you know, whether it's joining, you know, a Fiverr or finding someone on Upwork or getting an assistant or whatever it is, delegate, 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 get stuff off your, you know, table um, in order for you to flourish. Now, if you're like, I don't have the money to do so, um, you have to, again, think of this as a business. You need to invest in this and the time and the money that you invest in having someone help you should be time that you are putting towards generating more revenue. A huge way to help prevent burnout I have seen is join a community of people like you. Um, here at Sidewalker Daily, we have a creator community. It's called the Inner Circle. I'm obsessed with it. We have weekly calls. We're always in base and creators will come being like, yeah, I feel like really unproductive. Um, and that's okay, right? You have a safe space to kind of vent. You have a safe space to see other creators that also may feel like how you do. You need to find your people, your tribe, Vibe. Um, you can't do it alone. Okay. You can't be in a little room creating content all day alone. You need your humans. That is what's going to help you push through, especially when you feel super down and low. And again, I will leave a link to our inner circle. It is a waitlist program, but go ahead and sign up. The waitlist is always opening. It's on a rolling admission. So go ahead and sign up so you can be a part of our community. I think another great way to help a creator when they are experiencing either burnout or getting close to it is think about, you know, an accomplishment. Um, think about something that used to excite you in your biz. Um, and a lot of times it's like finding inspiration. Inspiration is not something that I don't think will just come to you. You have to go look for it. I find it really hard getting inspired in my office on my desk, sitting, looking at the computer. It's just not my zone, right? I'm inspired when I'm out in nature, when I'm out, when I'm in new places around art, around creative people, smart people, networking. That's when I'm inspired. That's when I feel alive. So you need to find where do you you feel alive? Where does the inspiration come to you? Where, and next time you are in a moment of inspo and you feel those floodgates coming in and you're like on a high, remember it so you can go back and revisit it when you are feeling again, a bit down. Anyways, guys, I know today's topic was a tough one. And I hope that if you are um, feeling any sense of burnout, you are getting the help that you need, whether it be professional help or business support, um, make sure that you do invest in yourself. Because remember, without your sanity, you are nothing and the platform is nothing. And it, it all means nothing if you're not doing well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what you have done to prevent burnout in the past for you. You never know who you're inspiring along the way. Leave that comment. We can all learn and share together. And I will see you guys in the next video.